One desert back long before that red spring and turn back from desert back. One desert back long before that, that, that red spring and turn back. I'm your host, Charlotte Walters. Tonight, we have a breaking story on the leading cause of cancer and heart attack. This epidemic permeating every one of our lives is the infamous media hype. What is media hype? And how is this, its existence affecting our lives for the worse? For this question, we found world-renowned expert in the field, Dr. Alan Hyphy, to help us answer this question. Thanks for having me, Charlotte. Media hype is when news coverage focuses on a single story disproportionate to its importance or size, uh, skewing the public's idea of what's actually going on in the world. Um, oftentimes, the, these small stories are exaggerated far beyond the scope of the original problem. What effects does this have on the viewers of these particular stories? It has been known to cause increased anxiety in individuals and several times has led to widespread panic in the affected areas. Uh, many people also report having flu-like symptoms um, as well as excessive drowsiness and sweating. Um, other common side effects include a uh, loss of appetite, high blood pressure, heart attack, kidney failure, hallucination, thoughts of suicide, muscle pain, involuntary quivers, seizures, and sometimes death. Thank you for your time, Dr. Hyphy. You've given us a great insight into a very important problem sweeping the nation and its source of news. We now take you live to a developing story in the reflection pools outside the SU. Renee, what's going on out there? Thank you, Charlotte. Here I am standing by the reflection pools just outside the student union, the site of several shark attacks in recent weeks. These attacks have soared due to construction on campus and may continue for the foreseeable future. Anonymous sources have reported that the underground water pipes are breeding grounds for sharks, and the construction on campus has prevented animal control and maintenance from interfering. Furthermore, the construction has broken through some of the pipes, allowing the sharks to find their way into campus pools and fountains. Renee, what sort of statistics can we expect before this problem is resolved? Based on the frequency of news coverage on the subject, and because UTD will likely never finish construction, it is not unreasonable to assume that half of the UTD population will become shark food before they graduate. Wow, Renee, that sounds deadly. Thank you for your investigation. Thank you, Charlotte. Just last week, fire broke out in the Waterview apartment complex. Ironically, the fire occurred about the same time as a scheduled fire drill in the same area. All apartments in Building 8 were evacuated to the designated safe zone three miles away. In fact, the fire was so wild, all Waterview apartment residents were advised to prepare for jumping out of their windows any minute. Now, let's go to weather. Weatherman? Thank you, weatherman. While sunny skies may be on the horizon now, remember that Hurricane Janet is fast approaching, so we advise all of our viewers to begin preparations for what could be the worst storm in history. And if that's not enough to scare you, we have breaking news over some unsettling discoveries involving a very common chemical, dihydrogen monoxide. News of this chemical is sweeping the nation and several groups have begun movements to petition the elimination of this dangerous substance. According to our sources, these are the top reasons protesters would like to see the chemical banned. It can cause excessive sweating and vomiting. It is a major component in acid rain. It can cause severe burns in its gaseous state. Accidental inhalation can kill you. It contributes to erosion. It decreases effectiveness of automobile brakes. It has been found in tumors of terminal cancer patients. If you'd like more information on this chemical, 
And for a list of ways you can contribute to the cause, visit our website, www.utdoesntexist.com. Well, there you have it, fellow students and staff. Sounds like your chances of living through the next year are very slim. If the sharks, fires, and floods don't get to you, surely this news broadcast peaked your blood pressure and you'll die anyway. From all of us at UT Dove, University News, you should already know. Good night. I love Janet's class. She's awesome.